components of a vector v at some angle theta to the horizontal can be resolved using trigonometry. x and y vector components can be combined to produce a resultant vector using Pythagoras to calculate the magnitude of the vector and trigonometry to calculate the direction of the vector. The velocity in the x direction is constant ignoring air resistance. Therefore, the initial velocity in the x direction equals the final velocity in the x direction and the displacement in the x direction is equal to velocity multiplied by time. In the y or vertical direction there is a constant acceleration due to gravity. Therefore the final velocity in the y direction is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration multiplied by time. The final velocity squared in the y direction is equal to the initial velocity in the y direction squared plus 2 times the acceleration in the y direction multiplied by the y displacement. And the y displacement is equal to the initial y velocity multiplied by time plus 1 half times the y acceleration multiplied by the time squared. Potential and kinetic energy of a projectile. Over the course of a projectile's trajectory, the potential and kinetic energy change as kinetic energy is converted to potential energy and potential energy is converted to kinetic energy. In this diagram you can see the trajectory of a projectile. E subscript K is the kinetic energy in joules and E subscript P is the potential energy in joules. For a projectile with a trajectory as illustrated, when first launched the kinetic energy will be at a maximum and the potential energy will be at a minimum. As the projectile rises towards the top of its trajectory, the kinetic energy decreases and the potential energy increases. And as the projectile then falls back to earth, the kinetic energy increases and the potential energy decreases as the potential energy is converted back into kinetic energy. As a projectile in flight is a closed system, the sum of kinetic and potential energy is constant. So the sum of the initial kinetic and potential energy is equal to the sum of the final kinetic and potential energy. At any point in the projectile's trajectory, the sum of kinetic and potential energy will be the same. It's constant throughout the flight of the projectile. In the equation, E subscript Ki and E subscript Pi are the initial kinetic and potential energies respectively. E subscript Kf and E subscript Pf are the final kinetic and potential energies respectively. For a body in space, or two bodies separated by a long distance, gravitational potential energy E subscript P can be calculated using the formula E subscript P equals minus capital G M1 M2 on R, where capital G is the universal gravitational constant, M1 and M2 are the masses of the two bodies in kilograms, and R is the distance between the centres of mass in metres. In the near surface environment, the formula E subscript P equals MGH, where M is the mass of the object in kilograms, G is acceleration due to gravity and H is the change in height in metres can also be used. The formula for kinetic energy is E subscript K equals one half MV squared where M is the mass of the object in kilograms and V is the velocity in metres per second. In a projectile the X and Y components of kinetic energy can be treated separately and this is because the x and y components of a projectile's velocity operate separately. So the kinetic energy, even though it's a scalar, can be treated as separate x and y components because the velocity operates as separate x and y components. The x component of kinetic energy is constant because the x velocity is constant. The initial x-velocity equals the final x-velocity.
The Y component changes as it is transformed into gravitational potential energy as the projectile rises towards maximum height and then the gravitational potential energy of the projectile is converted back to kinetic energy as the projectile falls back to Earth. Overall, the kinetic energy of a projectile is the sum of the X and Y components, such that E subscript K equals E subscript K X plus E subscript K Y. Kinetic energy is a scalar so the total kinetic energy of the projectile is simply equal to the sum of the x and y components of the kinetic energy. At maximum height, the y component of the projectile's kinetic energy, E subscript KY, is zero. So the kinetic energy of the projectile is equal to the x component of kinetic energy, E subscript KX of the projectile. For a projectile launched vertically, the kinetic energy is zero at the top of its trajectory. Because the projectile is launched vertically, the X component is going to be equal to zero. So at the top of its trajectory, if a projectile is fired vertically, the kinetic energy of that projectile will be zero. This graph shows the kinetic energy and height of a projectile versus distance. The trajectory of the projectile, the distance versus height, is shown in blue, and the kinetic energy is shown in black. The kinetic energy of the projectile is at a minimum at the maximum height of the projectile, but the kinetic energy doesn't actually drop to zero except in the case of a projectile fired vertically. The X component of the projectile's kinetic energy is constant throughout the flight of the projectile. So that the graph of kinetic energy versus distance or versus time for a projectile is going to be parabolic as shown. Summary. Over the course of a projectile's trajectory, potential and kinetic energy change as kinetic energy is converted to potential energy and vice versa. This can be seen in the graph where the kinetic energy and potential energy of the projectile change over the course of its flight. A projectile in flight is a closed system, therefore the sum of kinetic and potential energy is constant, so that the sum of the initial kinetic and potential energy equals the sum of the final kinetic and potential energy. At maximum height, the Y component of the projectile's kinetic energy is zero. So the kinetic energy of the projectile is equal to the X component of kinetic energy. And this can be seen in the graph where the kinetic energy of the projectile plots the parabola but does not actually drop to zero at the top of the projectile's trajectory. Thank you for watching.